Hello, this is Saki from Saki Tech. In today's video, I want to talk about the new iOS 9 release. So iOS 9 is the next iteration of the constantly evolving iOS and it is set for release this fall. In this video, I'm going to dive in and showcase the top 10 new features from this new iteration of iOS. Let's get started. All right, so the first feature that I want to talk about is the Spotlight Search. So as you know, in iOS 8, you can pull the menu down to bring up the Spotlight Search in iOS 9, you can either pull it down or you can pull to the right and you get the same Spotlight Search. And Spotlight Search itself has been improved considerably to be more intelligent and Siri has been integrated right into it. As you can see on the top here, the Siri gives me suggestions on which apps I should open and this is based on how often I use certain apps. Now one more thing in the spotlight search I forgot to show you guys. If you pull it down or if you go to the um, to the left, you can put in some really specific things and Siri, I mean the spotlight search is going to give you uh, results immediately. So let's say I want to know what the Apple stock is worth right now. All I have to do is type in Apple stock and it's going to fetch the price. It also gives me a suggestion for an Apple stock application that could be useful to me right here and within a couple of seconds it's going to pull up the Apple stock price and because this is a beta it's not a hundred percent so let me just show you this way there we go so the Apple stock uh, came right up here and this is going to be happening in real time when iOS 9 is finalized it's not going to take its time like it just did now other things you can do right in here, you can do calculations, you can do conversions. So if you type in convert one dollar to euros, it's going to give you the answer right here. Or if you type in two plus two, it's going to give you the answer immediately. And these uh, calculations can be as complex as you want them to be. So let's do two plus two. And as you can see, the calculator over here gives you the result, which is four. Another new feature in the uh, iOS 9 is if you go into settings, now, first and foremost, they added a search into the settings. So now you don't have to deep dive into settings to look for a certain feature which you do not remember where, where it's at. You can actually search the uh, option right here and it's going to pull it right up. So let's go to like, for example, if you type in battery, it's going to bring up, this is the battery app settings. I have an app that is called battery. It's going to take me into the settings for that battery uh, app and this is the actual battery settings that come with iOS 9 uh, which brings me to the next feature we do have a new battery section in iOS 9 and if you tap it it's going to give you what we call the low power mode the lower power mode if you enable it disables certain things on your iPhone and it extends your battery life by one hour so the things that do get cancelled are the mail fetch background app refresh the, uh, the motion effects and animated wallpapers, they all get disabled and by doing this it adds one hour to your total battery life and also if you look on the bottom here it gives you some nice details on battery usage so it tells you uh, how your battery is being used so the music application has used 16 percent of my battery in the last nine hours not too bad the next feature has to do with Siri as well so I can basically, let me launch Siri first and foremost and show you what has changed. So as you can see at the bottom, the animation has changed slightly. It now resembles the Apple Watch OS. And number two, Siri has gotten a lot more smarter. So you can ask Siri some really specific things. So I can ask Siri to show me only the pictures that I took on May 14th, 2015. And that's going to basically launch all the pictures that I took on May 2014 on this phone. And I could have also asked Siri to fetch me pictures based on location. I can also ask Siri to pull only the videos on my phone. So I can simply say, show me the videos on my phone. And as you can see, it pulls the photos app and it's going to pull all the videos, not the pictures. It's going to filter only the videos and I'm going to show them right here. Again. You can filter this by location, by date, photos, or videos. And of course, the recent apps view has changed. So normally we have apps stacked next to each other, and they're side, you get a side-by-side -side view. On iOS 9, you're going to get a stacked view, which is going to look just like this. Alrighty, so as you can see, 
I can scroll through the apps and when I want to pick one just tap on it this is the home screen so we're right there now I'm sure most of you guys know that you can add widgets to your notification center on the top here uh, if I go back right over here in the today screen and if I go down and click edit you now have some new widgets one of them is called uh, the battery widget this is the one that is built into the iOS okay nine and so is find my friends so let's just put the batteries widget on the top here let's pull it up okay I just want you guys to see what it looks like click done if you scroll down it's going to show you what the battery percentage is right in your today's screen and if you have an Apple watch and if your Apple watch is connected to your phone via Bluetooth it's going to give you the uh, percentage meter of the battery life left on the Apple watch as well now we do have a new notes application I have not used it yet so let's uh, launch it and it's going to give you all the features immediately so you can add almost anything to your notes from this point onwards you can capture information from maps photos and anything else and put them right into your notes application you can sketch stuff using the notepad and you can also find your stuff using search functionality uh, built into the iOS 9 and you also specifically get an attachments browser so if you attach anything into your notes pictures map locations anything it is going to show up in a small attachments browser so let's just click continue see what happens so let's go into the tech notes and do a quick demonstration so if I go into tech notes and if I click new note from here I have this plus icon I can start typing if I want but I do have this plus icon that ena enables me to do different things one of them is sketching stuff so if I tap on this button it allows me to sketch stuff I can pick a pencil highlighter I can change the color red color and then as you can see I can now draw on the notes application in iOS 9 click done go back out um, let's do one more note click plus and if you tap this icon it allows you to insert a picture from the photo library or you can take a brand new picture and it's going to come right in here and then also you have the option to format text so you can do heading body you can create checklists bulleted lists and everything and also if you type in anything um, do exercise what you can do is you can click this check mark and that turns that uh, thing that you just typed into a to-do checklist and you can actually check this off so you can create your own to-do lists in the notes application so let's go back here go right back in let's say I did the exercise tap that it's done so those are some of the new things you can do in the notes application let's move on to the next feature in the maps application for Apple Maps they now added a transit option okay so you could drive you could walk you couldn't do transit which was available in Google Maps so a lot of people downloaded Google Maps but now in Apple Maps you also get the option to plan your route using transit information now as of now it is not available in many locations it's only available in New York and a couple other states but as iOS 9 gets close to maturity it's going to be available in more and more states I hope and there have been some slight changes to the keyboard as well so if you launch the uh, Safari let's just bring up the keyboard application over here and uh, first of all you can put two fingers on the screen on the keyboard and turn it into a trackpad and you can move the cursor around and additionally if you press the shift button you will now visually see visually see lowercase letters transforming into uppercase letters so you can make that distinction much much easier so lowercase uppercase one more feature I want to talk about is the passcode so if you go into settings and if you go into the passcode uh, from now on you can actually pick six digit passcodes alrighty so in my case I have a four digit right now but when I go to change it I can actually change it into a six digit code which is much more secure and harder to guess alrighty and uh, if you want to stick with the four uh, four code option you can always tap passcode options and from here you can do alphanumeric which is pretty complicated you can do custom and you can do the four digit numeric code alrighty so you don't have to give that away but for security this might be a little bit better there we go now one more thing you can do is when you get notifications they all get bundled up over here under notifications right 
So you have some more options in how you can manage those. So if you go into settings and you go into notifications, you can actually sort the notifications by app. So if all your um, notifications are coming from Twitter, it's going to group all the tw Twitter, Twitter notifications uh, on top and it's going to group all the Facebook notifications separately. And if you have any emails, they're going to be grouped separately. As of now, what happens is they get sorted by most recent received. So if you get a text message, it shows up on your notification. If you get a Twitter message, it shows on top of the text message. It does not group them separately. But if you want to do that, you can tap this and then your notes will be grouped separately per application, as you can see. So pages, notifications, Periscope notifications, and then you got the Twitter notifications. Alrighty. And that brings us to the end of this video. Subscribe to Saki Tech and give this video a thumbs up and make sure to follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and every other place possible. Links are in the description below.